the Unboxers, and today we have for you, well, can't you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Jack and Sally. They're huge. Let mm -hmm. me just pan down and show you how large their coffin boxes are. Whoa, check it out. So we have a gigantic Jack and Sally to share with you today. Um, just after the holidays, after yeah. the, but they get two holidays. They get Halloween and they get Christmas. And this is from, um, of course, of course, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Jack with Chair, Collector Doll, and Sally with Cauldron. Yes. And we want to say a great big thank you to... Diamonds Like Toys. For sending these to us to share with you for I'm free. it's not on there somewhere. What's on there? You know, the logo, Diamonds Like Oh, it's probably on the oh, bottom. Oh, it is on the bottom. Yeah. There we go. But anyway, so go ahead and, um, like, uh, show how the little... Is that like a bone on the side? It looks like a little... It almost does. Yeah, it does. like a little bone. Like Ta-da! And then you open it up. Ah, and there there's Jack! Is. Look at that. Isn't that awesome how they have him all displayed <laughs> in the box? And I like the stripes and everything. Very cool. So it looks like maybe he's going to come with some kind of stand. I think I he has a, a stand. Silver. Yeah, I think he has a stand, but then he has a chair, too. Oh, wow. Awesome. All right, and now let's see if I can do that with Sally. I'm going to look at her. Whoa! She's like got a cauldron coming out of her stomach. Yeah. <laughs> so there's Sally and look at her cauldron. That looks really, really cool. Um, we're going to get them out of their boxes so we can give you definitely a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And they're vo both very tall. Let me show you. Yeah. Whoa, they barely fit in the shot. And um, they look really, really cool. Yeah, they really do. All right, so um, you want to show off? Let's show off Sally first, maybe? Okay. You want to see right. So here's the cauldron. Brewing. Yeah, so she's so it's like a translucent green, oh, yeah. but I like that they um, have the swirls in there. Very yeah, cool. cool. And I like the uh, kind of it's not like um, super matte, but it's not like super shiny. Yeah. I don't know what you would call that kind of finish. It's definitely Tim Burtony. It's like it's not yeah, like it's not a perfect pot. Yeah, it's yeah. just all like beat up and yeah, very cool. And um, and which is probably you know how they are cauldrons because they kind of just beat yeah. them with. Hand, you know, they wouldn't be perfectly perfect. But anyway, that looks really cool. It's got the handles on the She's side. making Dr. Finkelstein's and soup. She is. She doesn't have a spoon, but we will get her one. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and show her facial sculpt. Look at that. Very cool. So she's got her stitches. Her Even her eyelashes are stitches. Yeah. And then she has her stitches across her forehead, on her mouth, of course. Now, her skin is, um, I'd say, a little bit more green than blue, this yeah. this doll skin. Like a, like a pale, very mint green. And then she has her stitching up here on her chest and her neck. Her dress is really cool because it's got all the different fabrics, yeah. but and they're kind like of made all into fuzzy. one. Yeah, but they look like they're stitched together. Yes, it's very, um, it's like a velvety feeling. And uh, she has her stitching down her arms and her fingers. Now her elbow does bend like like one notch, kind of like like that. But um, we're afraid to kind of do it anymore. We don't want to break it. But anyways, yeah. we would just probably leave her on the shelf like that because <coughs> uh, she looks really cool like that. And of course, these are collector dolls, so they're not meant to, um, you know, to be put through a lot of action. Yeah, you're not really good. <laughs> They're meant for display. And she's got her stitching on her legs, of course, which is not exact, you know, like each one is different. And her little socks and shoes, little boots down there. Very cool. But she looks really... Sorry, Jack. Jack's already trying to catch her. Yeah. She looks really cool on her stand right there. Very cool looking Sally with her cauldron. And next... Jack with his chair. Jack his, and his chair. It's definitely a high back chair. Yes, very much so, <laughs> because he's so tall. So uh, it almost looks like a flower. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Okay, so it almost looks like a flower up here. Yeah. Very cool. And the little um, this is like a Tim Burton touch, I yeah. think, as well. Now I'd have to go back in the movie and see is this you know this like um, oh yeah he sat in a chair just like this or was... not got the little um like the little tuffet there and the little button in the middle um even to the little detailing right here and i love the shape of this yeah of the, of the legs very very cool the funny and, thing is is it's like and that's kind of a very kind of burton thing too but like you know if you look like he's not he's mainly leg uh-huh but the chair is like mainly back, back. Like, like, <laughs> yeah like, yep. so anyways let's <laughs> take a look at jack this is by far 
the thinnest, yes. <laughs> skinniest um, collector figure that I have ever seen. Um, let's take a look at his face first. There you go. There's Jack's face. Very cool. It almost, like when you look, it almost looks glow in the dark. It does. Like it almost looks like there's a glowing coming from his mouth because it's like a little bit of a greenish blue color in there, which looks really neat on camera, like it's like it's glowing. And he's got his bat here with like the spidery things coming out, his little bow tie bat. Um, he has the white shirt, which is, is it separate from the jacket? It is kind of separate from the jacket, but I don't think you're meant to take the jacket off. Although it does look like it might unbutton. Um, but look how long his arms are. Yeah. His arms do bend, um, at the elbow, and it feels like, it feels like a stick bug. Like, what is yeah, it? Yeah, it does, it does. <laughs> he feels like a stick bug inside here. Look how thin. Whoa! He's definitely a skeleton man. And his little fingers are, they're not, they're like, um... What do you like call soft, it? yeah. Yeah, soft rubber, so that they're like pliable, so they they can move, but they're not going to stay in that position. But I love the way they look, all the joints and everything. And look at the stripes down his velour suit. And he does have like, you know, like wrist. Oh yeah, he can, so yeah, he can... that's really cool, <clears throat> because he's so expressive with his hands. He look really cool on the shelf. You can definitely make him hold stuff and yeah. everything. That would be really neat. And um, so let's take the let me take the stand off of him in a second. There we go. And they both come with stands, which is really awesome, yeah. especially for collectors and display purposes. Um, because so, even with his articulation, if you look at his feet, there's no way he's going to... Yeah, because it's teeny tiny, teeny tiny Which feet. is, I mean, it's it's movie accurate. It's just, you right. know, you'd never, you'd have to... And look at how thin his legs are. Oh, his legs bend at the knee, so this is really cool. <laughs> he can, like, run. That's so cool. It's hard to fit Jack all in one shot. But anyway, his coat is up here, which is funny. And his um, pants come all the way up here, which is kind of funny to me. Cause it feels like his waist should be down here, but he's such a tall, thin guy. Yeah. Or skeleton man. Very, very cool. The Pumpkin King. Let's take a look at the back of him. There's the little tails hanging out. So he's got separate... There you go. It's cool look at how that. It's like, that looks really cool. Like a That looks very Adam Family-ish to me. Tattered. Yes. Like tattered tails. Yes. Very, very cool. <laughs> All right, so there's Jack, and you can put him on the stand and kind of uh, pose his legs, arms, however you want to do it. Um, and uh, so, did you try sitting him in the chair? Um, no, I didn't. Oh, let's see if he sits in the chair, or if the chair—I mean, the chair can be just decorative, depending on how, <laughs> depending on how he is. Let's see if he fits in the chair. If I can get the. There we go. I'll hold him. All right, there he is. Very good. <laughs> now Sally's like, now who's taller? Yeah. But uh, yeah, that looks really cool. So you can either sit him in the chair, or you can um, stand him up on his stand, and they look great together. Looking really cool. So we want to say another great big thank you to Diamond Select Toys for sending these to us to share with you. Check out their many, many other things that they have at. Oh yeah. DiamondsLikeToys.com. Yes, they have many, not just um, movie, you know, movie characters, um, just all kinds of superheroes and whatnots, just about anything you can think of, it, yeah. they make in all kinds they, of forms. They take care of a lot of fandoms, that for sure. Yes, so go ahead and check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we will see you next time.